Hello and welcome guys. Um, hope you all are doing great. And uh, today uh, we are starting a new series on Apple's uh, newly announced widget kit. Okay, so uh, what we're going to be doing in this series, uh, so let me set a context a little bit before we start, is um, we are going to be building various different uh, widgets and we're going to start with a very simple one. Now, uh, one thing to keep in mind that widget kit is uh, changing constantly and I have changed, I have seen it change uh, from uh, Xcode uh, beta, first beta when when it was released and second beta when it was released in third beta released some more new things and deprecated a lot of old things and stuff like that so um things are still um like you know um sort of shaky uh but it's a great um way to learn actually i mean with each beta uh making things uh more strong uh is uh what you need and uh you get the opportunity to try it out firsthand before it goes out for full uh full release yep yeah? so uh which is why i decided that I think beta 3 is the right point where uh, things are like, you know, looking a little bit more promising and stable. So I thought like, you know, we can start at this point and then later on make some more videos uh, to cover um, more recent changes or updates and stuff like that. Okay. So if all that sounds good, uh, let's go ahead and explore what the widget kit is. So I'm, I'm sure you guys have seen um, WWDC and uh, you uh, saw uh, Apple's, uh, <coughs> excuse me, Apple's demo on a widget kit, but uh, let me show you how uh, widgets look like. So this is our simulator and uh, let me cancel it out. So uh, you have this regular phone screen and this app is no longer there. So let me remove this and uh, oh, okay. So this is a new dialog that comes up. Uh, you can either remove from home screen or you can delete completely. So I'm going to delete it. And uh, yeah, so this is your home screen and you can add widgets to it so all you need to do is tap hold or long press and click on this plus sign next thing you're gonna see the list of apps that actually have some sort of widget so if you select for example calendar maybe you get these uh, calendar um, sort of um, updates right uh, so this is one form and as you can see like you know um, all these items uh, that are listed here uh, they don't have uh, they didn't have any value and later on values appeared that's actually called placeholder and we're going to be looking at that uh, but apple has changed a lot of things in placeholder as well uh, just to warn you up until um, Xcode beta 2 uh, placeholders and widget updates uh, used to work different than now. Now the whole widget becomes uh, black and I think that's uh, that's a bug that they're going to fix in future releases. I read in Apple's forum that uh, they're actually actively working on some of the uh, placeholder related bugs. But anyways. Um, so yeah, these are different kind of widgets. So there are three different families. Uh, you have small, you have medium, and you have large, okay? And uh, if you go ahead and take a look at other uh, widgets, for example, let's say, take a look at battery. So battery has same thing, right? And you can actually take that. So you can simply grab on these. And uh, if you long press, uh, okay? I actually I think dismissed it so let me select it and click on add widget it actually places it on the home screen and uh, then you can let it go you can hold tap to basically um, if there is any configuration you can actually edit that configuration it looks like this one does not have it so let me go ahead and remove this widget and let me go ahead and add it uh, another one and uh, reason I want to show you this because we are going to be creating uh, we are going to be creating configurable widget as well like you, you can provide the configuration so i'm going to add this news one right here 
and let's tap and hold there you go so you see this add widget right edit widget oh uh, this edit widget you click on it a uh, widget flips around and uh you can provide your own ui uh this is a custom ui that uh, apple is providing uh or you can have a configuration related so as you can see this is still like you know not very um uh, uh, it's it's not getting configured properly so let's find a one that actually can honestly i haven't i haven't had a chance to explore um apple's existing widgets myself as well so let's edit this one and uh let's take a look what we got okay edit and okay so it shows you this list and then you can click on this um and that actually launches a custom uh model and stuff like that and uh in future videos we're gonna see how we can create this uh but like you know there's another list that actually comes up as a sheet and you can select it from there but yeah there are a lot of configuration opportunities that you have in here okay so it shows you like you know how many reminders do you have um uh, and this is tied directly to the reminder app so if you tap on it it will open your reminders app okay there we go so it opens up the uh, um, reminders app all right um, so that is uh, gonna be uh, that uh, these are the widgets okay and they take like you know four icon size on the screen and uh, what Apple is uh, designing these to be uh, are uh, glanceable uh, content uh, information only so you cannot put like animations or uh, toggle buttons or stuff like that uh, onto the screen uh, it should be a glanceable quick glance information that actually provides the information about your app uh, and basically app how it actually has relation to your user so whatever whatever uh, let's say you offer an app uh, that has a uh, pizza delivery um, right so uh, that app actually shows pizza delivery status so your widget can allow your customers to see where their pizza is at like you know is, has it left uh, the pizza shop yet is it made it's ready it's on the way uh, when it's gonna arrive and stuff like that so you can provide that glanceable information in here or news like you know your reminders and stuff like that so those are some of the examples that you have for widgets now like i said they come in three flavors um so let's take a uh, screen time and uh, you can take second one uh so that's called medium and it takes the it takes two rows uh complete two rows um and uh uh, two columns so two rows and two columns or four columns actually one two three four and two rows yeah so uh, and you have like you know more uh, space to work with and here you can provide links uh, so there's a new api called links and you can provide hotspot like you know four links that can be tapped that can deep link into different locations of your app now this one is the one giant link and when you tap on it it actually opens up that um, that one one place where you're targeting okay now um if you add the, the last one so let me add the battery status third one because uh see it has a lot of things in here so this is the biggest one and this takes almost half of the screen and uh, it has like you know all these um all these uh, rows can act as link individual links as well okay and as you can see it has like a lot more information than your other widgets can have uh, now there's one thing that apple has not updated their documentation yet uh, or at least i haven't found yet is how to provide this transparency so you can see like you know these are a little bit transparent um and they're showing the background a little bit so like you know i haven't seen that documentation yet so that's yet to find uh, but we'll we'll uh, find out soon like you know all about widgets okay anyways so for, we're going to be starting up uh starting up like you know the series where we're going to be creating a whole bunch of widgets and um, we're going to be starting off with a simple widget to to understand how widgets actually um, 
how they work and what are the required components uh, that are there for a simple widget because there's a lot of things that go on and uh, we need to understand all those and then we're gonna take it slow and like um, uh, make it a little bit more complex um, complex scenarios okay so there's a lot to discuss so let's go ahead and get started in the next video we're gonna be uh, starting up uh, and uh, creating our very first uh, widget okay so I'll see you guys in next video thank you